So one of the great ways that I have found um, that's been very successful for me to kind of promote student voice, um, student empowerment, and a little bit of student decision making has been through the Google Classroom platform, um, specifically asking student questions. And so um, I'd like to share that with you. So um, while you're in your Google Classroom, you can come over here to Classwork and you can click on the Create button and you can click um, and create a question. So we're going to go ahead and click on Question and um, we want to come up with some sort of a question that maybe promotes one of those three or maybe all three of them. So again, we're looking to try and promote student voice uh, student decision making, student empowerment. So um, one of the one of the questions that I've asked and it's been successful is a very simple question, um, which is uh, what kind of music would you like to hear during our lessons or during one of the warm ups? So um, during during this remote teaching model, I've created um, a lot of uh, warm-ups and so um, a lot of these warm-ups are kind of driven by upbeat um, music that's appropriate for elementary students and so um, I've kind of put it out to students um, to have their voice heard um, and so that is the question that we'll just pretend to ask today so again you come up with your question what music would you like to hear during the worm. Um, all right, and um, so for this type of question, obviously it's going to be a short answer, but maybe something else that you come up with would be multiple choice. So here you can create short answer or multiple choice. We'll leave it as a short answer. If you need to provide instructions with your students, um, usually here, this is where um, I just remind students of the types of music that we need to be sharing in um, school, it needs to be school appropriate, um, that kind of stuff. So you can add that here. You can also add um, anything that you might, uh, that, that might be relevant to that question. So if you have some sort of file or video associated with that question, here would be a great way to insert it. Okay, and then over here, if you are looking to assign this just to one class, or for me, I've got a whole bunch of classes, so I can check um, as many of those classes as I need to for this, you know, if, if the question is relevant to more than one class, it's a great way just to select more than one class. Um, you can also make it um, so that you're just seeing uh, one student um, or maybe just a few students. So you can pick that there um, and just, uh, just send that question to a select group of students. Obviously, for this type of question, there's not going to be any points associated to it. Um, if, there, if there were, that's where you could change it. Um, I'm going to make this be an ungraded question. Um, here, you can change the due date. Um, you can use the calendar option, or you could just type in the date. Um, so we're going to, let's say that we, we don't want a due date for that one. And then um, if this is going to be a standalone question, obviously you don't need to pick a topic. But in that classwork tab, um, I've broken down um, my lessons into weeks. And so if this was a question associated with one particular week, that's where you could select it. All right, and uh, you can also um, say students can edit answer or students can reply to each other. You can click one of those options if you think that's relevant. Um, I know with students being able to reply to each other, it's yet another way that students can um, be able to respond to each other, be able to collaborate. And so I have kept that feature going and it's worked out great. 
Um, so there you go. Um, asking a question on Google Classroom, a great way to promote student empowerment, student voice, and student decision making.